how today we are going to create a login page in library management system so first of all we are going to add database so right click here then add then new item now you need to select sql server database file here we are going to give name lms now add yes now we have to wait yeah you can see here database added now double click on this database so now here we are getting database but right now you can see there is no available table so i am going to add new table add new and here I am going to change table name we are going to take table name librarian underscore registration okay. here I am going to make i small and we want auto increment so right click here properties and here we need to give identity true now here first name we are here then last name we are going to take also we are here now we are going to take username now we are going to take password then we need email and then we need contact yeah we don't need registration page of librarian because librarian is a one kind of admin so directly they will enter their detail on database later on we will think if need then we can add one more functionality like librarian can add another librarian we can do like this but right now it is not needed if you want that then we will do that don't worry about that okay now refresh here and you can see we got here table now right click and show table data yeah i am going to add my record as a librarian yeah so one record is added here we don't need password encrypted but when we are going to create a student registration form we are going to make this in encryption form but right now it is not needed okay so i added one entry here now i am going to close this and now we are going to add a new form add new item we have to take web form yeah we have form with master page but right now we don't want to use master page in this because this is a separate design so we are going to take only web form and here i am going to take name login and then add so we are getting one page named login.asps inside librarian folder just check if you create outside of librarian folder then it will create problem so you need to right click here and then add new okay so we go here now just delete this and now open your template i hope you already download this now here you can see one page of login open with notepad or notepad plus plus whatever then copy this all 
and just paste here so we got all design here now i'm going to show you we got design or not so set a start page and run this We have to wait. We can see we got here. Now we are going to change here first of all this string. So yeah, this is the logo. So I'm going to change this. login and save it and directly I am going to refresh here yeah we need to give white color so style and I am going to give color it means font color white and then refresh yeah we are getting here and now we need to change here title also so to change title we need to change in title library login yeah and now we don't want the signing with facebook signing with twitter we don't want this we don't want this also don't have a account so i am going to remove that here this one and this one i am going to remove this now save and refresh yeah now we don't want this forward password and remember me also so Yeah, now it's look good. But when user enter means library enter invalid username or password. Yeah, we need to change here username. We will do it. On that time we need to display your error. So for displaying error, we need to get alert message of bootstrap. From W3 school. We want this danger. So I am going to copy this simply just copy and after button i'm going to paste and now i'm going to check here we are getting here error message or not yeah we need to give margin something so here i'm going to give style we are going to set this margin top 10 pixel yeah so now we are going to hide this error message and we are going to change your error message you have entered invalid username or password okay so we type your message properly now we are going to convert these text words to asp.net text words so first of all we are going to write here username and then we need to write here asp text words then we need id username oh. then we need run it server and then we need this class and also placeholder so i am going to take here class and placeholder and we are going to change here placeholder username and now we are going to delete this so we keep this same design here now i am going to copy the same thing in place of this i am going to paste placeholder password here id i am going to take password and here we need text mode so i am going to take text mode password for this button also we need to take ASP.NET button so ASP text box ID B1 then I am going to take run it server 
then we are going to take text same so sign in and here we are going to take this class so copy and paste here now i am going to remove this yeah so and now most important thing is that we are going to take here display none it means we are going to hide this and we need to give here id also so i am going to take id we are going to take id as a one type of error because we are going to display error that's why and we need to give a net server if you are not going to write here on that server then you cannot access this div from cs site that's why and here we need for my df phone internet server yeah now we are going to generate click event of this button so design here i am going to double click yeah so we got here why we got that change let me check oh we did mistake yeah here we need to take asp button yeah now we are design double click and we got click here yeah then it is good now we are using system dot data using system dot data dot sql client and here we need to do database connectivity path so sql connection c1 is equal to new sql connection and here we need to do path so refresh one time here right click property and copy this connection string so i am going to copy these all things and going to paste here now we are going to write here if connection dot state is equal to is equal to connection state dot copy path every page we need to write this connection clause this is a one kind of error handling because what happens sometimes we are going to open connection directly and in between we are getting error so your connection is not lost and next time when you are going to run you are getting error so when you are going to write this then the script is going to check if connection is already open then it will close and then here we need to write open so it will open again so you are never getting error that's why now here is the command cmd cmd.create command cmd.command type then here we need to write and execute not query now here we need to perform select query select star from library and underscore registration where username is equal to and password is equal to here we need to take single quotes in between double quotes in between plus plus sign double quotes plus plus sign and here we need to pass username dot text and here we need to pass password dot text now here i am going to take integer i is equal to zero now here data table dt is equal to new data table data adapter dot field dt and now we are going to count this row how many row we found with this username and password so i is equal to dt dot cross dot count dot to string and here i am going to convert because our i variable is integer so convert dot to int 32 and here i am going to take if i is equal to 0, 0 sorry we are going to take if i greater than 0 otherwise else in else we are going to give error message so for error message we are going to take error 
it is our control name which we take div from w3 school then style dot add and we are going to take property display and here block so this way we can display error and here we are going to forward response dot redirect here we are going to forward on right now demo dot sps later on when we create new page we change here just right click here set a start page and i am going to generate if you are getting error during the development then don't worry about that just read it properly so we get definitely have any clue we have to wait Okay, so I am going to write here incorrect username password and we are getting error so we are going to check invalid object name yeah we did some spelling mistake our table name is incorrect yeah now we are going to run again Okay, now I am going to write here incorrect username password and press sign in button. You can see we got here a message you have entered invalid username or password. And when we refresh, it is not available there. Again, I am going to write incorrect and now I am going to write here correct Amit Amit and going to press sign in button. You can see we forwarded on demo.asps. So, this way we can create login page in ASP.NET with totally bootstrap. This is totally responsive, you can see. This is totally responsive. So this way you can create a login page with bootstrap in ASP.NET library management system. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, then please like it and share it. Thank you so much for watching.